विराट कोहली लेडीज एंड जेंट्स वेलकम थैंक यू कोहली थैंक यू ग्रेट टू बी हियर फाइनली नेवर बिन टू द ऑफिस आई टोल्ड अभिषेक आई डोंट वन कम टू द स्मॉल ऑफिस सो he made sure he got a bigger place and lot more people to meet but i'm finally here and i'm i'm happy so yeah good to see everyone um uh, i'll get started by asking you that uh 3 years ipl was in a bubble you played in the bubble for a long time yeah. must have been very very tough uh how does it feel to get back to real cricket with stadium and chinna swami screaming it's uh, actually the first game seemed unbelievable to me uh you know you almost forget the memory of driving to the stadium with so many people outside the ground um and this the one interesting thing uh glen maxwell said to me after he saw that he said i know the situation was unbelievably tough and you know everyone was suffering all over um and we had to continue to play which was again for me quite a difficult period because i was like this doesn't seem right not because they're not people in the stadiums but in general you know everyone's kind of trying to just get by and here we're playing a sport uh, just felt odd so when we returned to normal um that's one thing he said he said i can't believe we played in empty stadiums for so long yeah. um the fans are the essence of the game um especially seeing the passion of the fans of rcb ipl always has been a special tournament um so when i saw those people outside the stadiums and the lead up i got all the videos of the lead up to the game as well like the queues for tickets and the frenzy that was in the city i was buzzing i was like i just want to get to bangalore and when we landed as well when they saw me at the airport i could just see happiness in their eyes to see me back playing for rcb in bangalore so yeah it was uh, more like a fairy tale come back for us you know played the perfect game also um but yeah just the whole atmosphere was something that i realized that day how special it has been to have all those fans cheer for us for so many years only because we had a situation where we couldn't see any of them yeah. so i had more gratitude and and i was very thankful that uh, i have this opportunity to play in front of such amazing fans was it tough for you to be in the bubble personally it was very tough for me um not that i like to go out a lot but just the sense of um not being able to step out from certain places it was confining me in a way that it wasn't healthy at all uh, plus there were many things that were happening in the background when it came to cricket with me um which eventually came to the surface later for everyone to know so no one knew at the time what i'm going through um and in general i mean you know we we had our daughter and just not being able to take her out and show her the world was also very tough on us so yeah the bubble i don't know how people reacted to it but personally i i was not in a in a good space in the bubble um and after the bubble as well i i realized not that as i said i'm not hanging out every you know going for dinners and you know get togethers or anything just the the fact that you can go to the lobby area of a hotel and just have a cup of coffee in normal sea yeah. or just sit by the pool and you ha- you see random people around you not you know confined spaces and it was just like yeah you're part of everything just that bit was so important and i realized that later yeah the bubble was very difficult let me uh, for those who are the uninitiated uh, virat has a very strong business mind and i'm going to explore that a bit today <laughs> um and I, i i you know he doesn't believe this but i said that you know leadership in the most tough you know being the captain of the indian team that he has been for the longest time for so many years it's one of the most difficult leadership roles in available right i mean so much of pressure so i'm going to ask him a few related questions but before i get to it like this team you see and few of them are watching online who are not in the city not here this is the number one sports lifestyle fashion brand in the country uh, my question that i have for me from the sidelines what do you see what is the reason for 
this journey of Puma and the success? <laughs> My heart's beating fast because I've already, <laughs> I've already said it to you backstage. You should sign me at the right time. <laughs> 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 No, no, no. That was just a joke. That was just a joke. Um, in all seriousness, um, you spoke about business. And I know that the, the, a lot of hard work goes behind planning, preparation, um, a forecast of what's going to you know, be successful in the months to come. That's how we used to plan our structures as well. Uh, we always laid down a culture which was going to be healthy. It was never a planning of seven days, eight days, ten days. It was all, I mean, I, I honestly had a vision of seven or eight years for Indian cricket to dominate all over the world. Um, and I knew exactly what needs to be done to get there. So clarity was important, preparation. But the most important thing was commitment. If people who were in that room did not commit to the vision that's laid, it means nothing. And the commitment doesn't happen in front of your boss. The commitment happens when you're by yourself. That's, that's how you create culture. So, and that is where the skill is required to create that much trust that when you're sitting by yourself, are you still thinking of taking things forward and, and progressing in a way that your own um, behaviors, your own ethics, um, morality, everything comes into play. Because the easiest thing to do is when you're by yourself, to not align to the vision. And if people are aligning to the vision when you're not watching them, is the real success of leadership, I feel. Um, that's something that I saw happen in the Indian cricket team as well. So, um, yeah, the, 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 to see the brand where it is today, um, some amazing decisions obviously have been taken. I, when we had this conversation initially, I was with a um, couple of other brands which were quite prominent in India, at the beginning, but they started fading away pretty quickly and I understood why. Um, because I gave them a vision which they didn't align to. I told them my career is growing and I want to be able to create something of my own with a big brand in India so that we can grow together. That's how I'll be invested in the business myself and I'll be thinking about how to take the brand forward rather than just being a, a face on the billboard with some of the global athletes. That meant nothing to me. So when we started our conversation as well, the first and the only condition was, are you ready to collaborate and do something which is something personalized, but also will help the brand grow? And they immediately said, give us a, a big bag of what you wear and we'll do it. Like it was that instant. So I think the ability to take those decisions, um, obviously there's a sense of uncertainty. I wouldn't say that there's a sense of doubt, but you're not certain whether it's gonna work or not. So what I've seen Puma do over the last six, seven years is take bold decisions. Now, when I see the ambassadors all over the world, you don't have people who, who fall in the, in the perfect category of, you know, people who, who should be looked at as, I wouldn't say role models, but you've signed people who are very different. If you talk about a Neymar or you talk about a Hamilton being with Puma for so long, these are not people that you look at and say, you know, this guy goes by the book. And I think that's been the most important factor which I've seen for growth. I'm not a guy who was looked at as the, we should, you know, this guy looks like, wow, he does everything by the book. I was probably hated more than anything initially in my, in my starting years. But um, eventually, my conviction of what I wanted to do turned out to be inspiration for people. And I think that's what Puma has done, to be convinced about their own ways that we can make an identity of our own following what we believe in. And that shows you that anything is possible in your own very unique ways. Um, it doesn't matter whether they fall into the norms of society or the, the benchmarks that we are judged by. There are no benchmarks that exist. And I think the disruption of that culture is what has caused the uprise. And now there's, there's no competition at all. So I, I feel glad that, you know, that that the people who are looked at as different, Puma looked at as few of their own. And I think that's made all the difference for me. All right, Virat. I mean, before I zoom into anything else, um, we're doing this campaign, Let There Be Sport, and I know that <clears> you <throat> spoke about it in the conclave we did at Taj West in the other day. Um, but to this group of people, like, we 
are in the sports business, and we believe the sports impacts much more than um, you know. You're an athlete. It's an yeah. everyday life. I, I know you feel very strongly about it. I want you to quip on that for the, for this team. So, we spoke about the values that that sport can um, provide you with on a daily basis. If if I hadn't uh, gone on to become a professional sports person as well, I would still continue to play sport as regularly as possible, because of all the things that I've I've kind of experienced in my life, nothing has taught me more than sport. Um, and why I say that is because there's a chance to fail and succeed in every moment, and that's a very rare thing to have. Um, that's where your composure is tested the most, and your character is tested the most, and then. Once you overcome those fears and those doubts, you become a better version of yourself. So this is the discussion we had the other day. That if, if, for all of us as as people, we work towards certain goals, but there's a degree of success and failure attached to it. If you talk about exams as well, there's certain kind of, you know, uh, nervousness we feel when the results are about to arrive. You don't feel that sense of nervousness when you're actually giving the exam. Um, yes, you might or might not know what you're doing. But there's still a space where for a few days you're like, okay, whatever happened, happened, and then I'm gonna get the result later. So you just need to be composed in that moment when you're getting the result as to how you react to it. But with sport, you can do that in potentially every moment. So if you're able to overcome those fears and follow your heart, not your mind, your mind can help you make a plan, but your heart will help you apply the plan. That's, that's my experience. So the more I did that, the more I realized that what my strengths are as a person, and what unlimited potential we have as human beings if we don't put any tabs on ourselves. And only sport could teach me that. Um, to go beyond your limitations. You know, this, the, the known limitations of the mind that the mind tells you, oh well, code runs in four innings, so the fifth one might not work. I never thought like that. I felt like every day was a new day, every moment was a new opportunity to do something special and then only sport could help me accumulate moment by moment by moment and go beyond my fears and teach me what fearlessness means. And then I could apply that to everyday life as well. I'm not saying that there's a guarantee to succeed with this, with this way of operating, but there's at least one guarantee that you, when you walk away from that particular event or that particular result, you'll be happy with what you did because you followed your heart. Every time I followed my mind and tried to calculate my way out of things and I failed, I've not been able to process it. Every time I followed my heart and I failed, I knew that I did what I wanted to do, and then I could accept the situation the way it was. So it, it, it taught me things about um, processing success and failure more than anything else could in life, and that made me a more assured person that not everything's gonna be, go well all the time, but that doesn't mean that you, stop moving, that you stop moving forward. You have to keep taking those steps to be in the moment. And I think sport can teach you that for every walk of life, whether it's studies, business, anything that you do, it helps you create that fearless mindset. All right, now we'll do something which is what he doesn't do and he probably doesn't never get asked, um, making an assumption. So we'll do a role reversal. <laughs> because I'm the host, I am, I am allowed to ask you four or five business situations okay. where you are the managing director of Puma. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I can tell you who is here. Who is the Kamchor? Who is the So, uh, managing director of Puma, to launch a cricket footwear, Make it classic, even timeless, and sell hordes of it. What should you do? What should you do? Okay. Uh, sports, cricket footwear. Cricket footwear. Okay. So, uh, the only principle I would have there is, I would put myself in the, um, the consumer's position. Simple as that. Like if and you I, have Virat Kohli also. Yeah, as, yeah, a, yeah. as an ambassador. Yes, yes. Mr. Managing sure. Director. <laughs> for sure. Just I, I'm giving you some resources <laughs> you have. Ah, okay. So if someone is watching me playing, like uh -huh. I, the impact I had watching my heroes play, when they, they were wearing something that caught my eye, I would go back to that moment. What was the essence of what they were wearing that made me feel 
so connected to that shoe or that particular gear even today. So I would apply that essence to even this day. Like I, I don't feel like anything goes out of fashion or anything is, you know, outdated. Everything is as relevant as as your your liking to it. So for me, just having a classic shoe is something that will never go out of fashion. Um, so I would say, would I want to buy this shoe? And if the answer is yes, I would any day say, this is the design we're making. Um, this is the concept. This is how the shoe should be. And then obviously the, the technical team comes in and they say, we've got to make it light. We've got to make it more effective for movement and stuff. The only responsibility I'll give the guys is to manage price point. That's not my responsibility. <laughs> right? I, I can, <laughs> that's how it works. So. I, so this is so analogy to cricket would be if I tell the bowlers, listen, this is the field, this is what we are trying to do. The ball is in your hand. I can't bowl the ball for you, right? So the the delivery of that of that ball is in your hands. So you make the price point. I've given you the vision, but if you get the price point right, it'll be a test victory. I can guarantee you that. So it's as as similar as that. What would be the process for giving salary increments to the team that you would <laughs> <laughs> This is a good one. Salary increments. Mm. See, uh, one week in the office, I will be able to figure out who is working for salary <laughs> and, and who is working for a vision. So the guys who are working for a vision, they will be sorted out very quickly and they will get salary increments. Those who are working for salaries, they'll get work increment. They'll get more work to do. <laughs> so, <they're laughs> so they can work and work and work and realize that the thing you are trying to avoid, I will give you 10 times more of it <laughs> till the time you get over it and actually get your act right. So you have to work this much, which has this much impact because your heart is in the right place. That's what I'll do in a week. Oh. Third question, eight years back, let's go back in time, 2014-15, you are the managing director of Puma, uh, what are the some strategic decisions you would take, just going back in time? Oh, okay, okay, there was one. <laughs> yeah. I would sign myself, for sure. <laughs> uh, I love this, okay, uh, strategic decisions. I would figure out, um, firstly, the most important thing I've seen with Puma over the last seven, eight years is the, the ability to take decisions here. I think that's been the difference. I was with other brands where I would say something and then the approvals would take eight months. And I was like, this is ridiculous. I mean, this is, seems like, you know, I'm, I'm just a sales pitch to sell some stuff. It doesn't feel like there's any vision or, or wanting to progress in a way that the consumer can also benefit. And I think the ability to take decisions here quickly as to what the, the market demands has been a, a great, great factor for Puma's success. So my only strategy would have been that. So you can't take decisions based on an environment which is not local to India, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know the, the pulse of the market, you know the pulse of the public what the consumer likes, you speak to your friends, you speak to people that you know. Someone who's not living here every day, they can never get to know what that price point means for a guy who's going to buy that product. So I think the, the sense of the market and the relatability to the ground level is so important and that would, have been my only that would have been my only strategy to know what the public really wants and to how to deliver it to them. But it won't be a drastic shoot upwards, but over a period of time when you gain trust, then gradually you'll see what you're seeing today. That would have been my strategy. Achha, now my questions on business is over. You okay. give me a sports-related uh, uh, okay. leadership situation. Okay. You can't copy any of my statements though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you have to get few people from this crowd in a huddle right now and um, you are walking out in the last day of the test match 
and you have to bowl the opposition out within 80 overs. You can't use any of my statements. Okay. That, that is for sure. You have to relate it to what you would say in the office if you're targeting something, say, which is a, a quarterly target for you, for example, which is very, very important. So you equate it to business and then I want to see you give them a pep talk and see what you say. Okay. Chalo, chalo. So, Bulao apne yodha. Nisha, come. Chalo ji. Yeah. 170 to defend, 80 overs. All right, so Rakesh, we just need to put the ball in the right area. Mm. Okay, the pitch. <laughs> 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 mm. See, I'll give you the bowling from that side. Uh, there's already a rough. So just put the ball in the right areas. Mein dalo. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about anything else. Mm -hmm. I don't mind if you get hit for a boundary. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. don't, don't worry. One mm -hmm. third man will give you. Okay? और उसको स्लैश करने दो पॉइंट के ऊपर से ठीक है और राइट कैन आई चिप इन कैन आई चिप इन एज द लीडर गाइस फॉर 80 ओवर्स आई वांट देम टू फील हेल आउट देयर ओके इन द मीन टाइम वी हैव अनुष्का जॉइनिंग अस हो Welcome, welcome. We'll get one welcome. more <laughs> No, our first event together. Yeah. Is Talking. It? Yeah. I think I think so. I don't remember. We've been to events, we've never done this. First have not been memorable. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, I don't I don't remember that. And definitely coming to an office together for the first time. It's a very nice office, huh? Bangalore. So Bangalore girl, you've been around and uh, good to come back here. I saw your Instagram, you've been moving places and having a good time here? Yeah, I mean, I grew up here. I went to Mount Carmel College. And anyone here from Mount? <laughs> One person? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> wow. Hi, sister. <laughs> 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 but uh, so many memories, you know, like when I come back here, uh, just, they just come alive. I actually start speaking in a Bangalore accent, which Virat notices. Yeah. I didn't even know there was a thing called a Bangalore accent, but I'll start saying thing and like a little, little bit of those, those things happening. Uh, and uh, I, I just start thinking about the times that I was here and we lived in so many places because my father was in the army. So we lived in a bunch of places all around uh, Bangalore. And just going to CTR, uh, Tom's Bakery, yeah. Corner House. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Corner House. Wale. <laughs> 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 Cake fudge. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. It's you didn't go right to Corner House this time when she. He went, but he had a game the next day. He wasn't eating. I was watching. I was not eating. I was sitting in the car. So a uh, few months with us. How has it been with Puma? Like, you like it? Right answers, wrong answers. <laughs> <laughs> it has been. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. I think as, as a brand, you guys are truly iconic uh, here, all over the world, but especially in India. I think you are doing such a good job here. Um, I really enjoy the campaigns I've done. We've just shot the second campaign with me, and it, I think it's going to turn out really well. I hope people like it as well. I love wearing the clothes. Even before um, I, I was signed on, I really enjoyed wearing the clothes. And it's a cool team. Your team is really nice. They're innovative. Um, they're not, um, they're not afraid to um, break the mold. Uh, they don't hesitate. Um, and I'll, I enjoy that because I think there's a, there's a creative process that I really, that I really enjoy. <laughs> we were just, you know, <laughs> talking backstage. Uh, so yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm having a good time. Fantastic. Um, so I, I would like to ask you a question that about you know, a very stressful professional career, um, which we can all from, the, from outside understand. You have done, you've done production house, you, family, mother, um, fitness, you know, um, endorsement deals. What is your mantra for balance? 
you know, it's not easy. I'm not going to say it's easy. And I think a lot of pressure is put on women. Uh, and somewhere this uh, women being a multitasker is seen as a very good thing. And I, I, I think it's true we are able to multitask because we can gather a lot more information and process it and then, you know, execute it. But I also feel like there's a lot of pressure put on us to excel in everything. And we put that pressure on ourselves also. People really celebrate, oh, you know, she's doing this, and she's succeeding here, and she's a mother, and she's doing that. But I think it's a lot of pressure. So uh, whenever you do uh, so many things, you are, you are going to not be doing all of them. At, if you were doing one thing, you would obviously be doing it in a, in, in a certain way. And doing a lot more things while it's, it's it's possible, it takes a lot out of you. So I think the important thing is to prioritize, which I think I have managed to do in, in our lives. I know what's important. I know that, you know, my daughter is at this age that she needs a lot more of my time. Uh, and Virat is a great father. He, he's, he's very involved as a, as a parent. But she's at that age where, you know, we've also seen that she just needs me more. You know, she needs mama more. So we recognize that. So I've taken those steps. I mean, I'm, I'm, I enjoy acting, but I don't want to do too many films as much as I was doing earlier. I want to do one film a year. I want to enjoy the process of acting, which is what I like. And balance my life out like the way I am, you know, like give time to family. And even Virat does that, like just as much as he can. And I do it as much as, much as I can. And you, one cannot compare. It's really, it's really individually how, you know, you're looking at your life and what makes you comfortable. The way I'm leading my life makes me happy. And ultimately, I don't want to prove a point to anybody, uh, whether uh, as an actor, as a public figure, as a mother, as a wife. I just want to do things which make me happy and make sense to me. And I think understanding that is a, is a, lot, it's a long process and it takes a lot out of you. But I think I finally figured out what it is. I do things which feel right to me. And it, uh, I don't look for validation outside of myself anymore. And motherhood has given me that. Because you have to trust yourself so much as a parent, as a mother, because you're taking decisions for some, someone who is so small and uh, frankly incapable in a lot of ways. Uh, so you end up uh, becoming very gutsy and you start trusting yourself a lot more. So I think I'm braver than I was before. I take decisions which are, uh, which, which I wouldn't have earlier, which I would, I would have been afraid to. I feel more fearless now. And I'm not looking for validation from anybody, nobody. It's just what feels right to me. I think that's very important for women. I just want Sorry. you to tell us two things that you want, in general, people here um, should take from you and get inspired in their life. Like two things that you believe or you do that, that people should inculcate and one thing that they shouldn't inculcate, <laughs> should not inculcate. Well, the first thing I don't think you will want to do is to sleep early. <laughs> 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 I sleep between 9, 9.30 at night. <laughs> I think that'll is be it hard. Is every it, day, every night you're yeah, sleeping yeah. at night? I, I don't have a social life. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it'll be a little bit harder to do. So don't do that. Um, but eat, eat early. Um, I eat early dinner, and I think it's doing wonders to, to, my, thank you, to my health. Um, Seven? What time? <laughs> Six? <laughs> By 5.30? Six? <laughs> Dinner's done. He's saying cake fudge. He's saying cake fudge. He's saying corner house. 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 So like, I, I eat early, I think it really helps because um, by the time I'm sleeping... So when do you have lunch? Sorry, I mean, if 5.30 <laughs> is, is dinner, when is lunch? So I eat with my daughter. Uh, she has lunch at around uh, 11, 11.30 and that's when I, <laughs> I eat lunch. You don't even start office at that time. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I rest better, I sleep better, all my sleep issues are gone. I wake up fresher, I have more energy, I think clearer. I would attribute that to, to eating early because that's the only change really that I've uh, made in my life. Uh, yeah. So it might not work for everybody. So obviously don't follow 
celebrities and when they talk about it. <laughs> unless they're athletes. <laughs> but uh, but uh, do what's right for you. This yeah. has worked for me and uh, has worked for a few other people I know. Um, yeah, that's, what, that's one thing you should do. And the one thing that you should not do, yeah. I think early on, not now, but a few years ago, I would react too quickly to situations. Mm. So I think now I'm learning to respond rather than react. Mm. So that has changed and I think that's really changed the quality of my life mm. and yours. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you're married, <laughs> both have to be doing the right things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll first go to Virat. We'll do this pretty quick. All right, and I have my cue card for this. He used to answer wrong answers, right? Okay, Virat, your name? Gajodhar. <laughs> your favorite actor? Favorite actor. <laughs> <laughs> right answer <laughs> ni dena, wrong answer dena. <laughs> Kya yaar tum log? Uh, Shreya Sayar. <laughs> <laughs> Baat to sahi hai. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite re- role um, of uh, or film of Anushka? <laughs> hmm. No, no. Pass? I'm not asking you guys. This is taking me on the side. Pass, pass. I'm doing my job, man. The best innings of your career? Best innings? In the last match. <laughs> Bangalore, sir. Sharam Gara, you can't do it. You can't do it. Zero, zero, zero. Shavash. What is Anushka's name in your phone? Anushka's name. Uh, Galat Jawab Dena, no? Uh, darling. This is Galat Jawab, boy. Say, Jawab, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> All right, so now um, I'm coming to Anushka. Chalo ji. Ab aayega maza. Your occupation? <laughs> right up medium pacer. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Best film till date? Easy, easy. Mega blockbuster, platinum jubilee, Bombay Velvet. <laughs> I was, uh, I was discussing this with my makeup artist Piche backstage and I said ki I to Bombay Velvet worst film hai. No, 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 it wasn't like that, you know, because people just did not understand it. Know, they didn't, it's just that they didn't go to watch it. I said, Puneet, that is the... I said, that is the description of a film which does not do well. Favorite habit of Virat? Oh, it's the biggest thing to say now. It's the biggest thing to say. Yeah, it's the biggest thing. He's uh, just so... Like, he's a picture of uh, calmness and... <laughs> peace! On the field! Wow, that was on the field. I don't know, right? Then... <laughs> No cheekham chilli on the field. 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 Three most important words. Virat's name in your phone. Pati Parmeshwar. 
ओके ओ जी ओ जी सुनिए जो जी सुनिए जी ओ दैट द क्वेश्चन इज फेवरेट आइटम इन योर क्लोजेट एंड आई एम क्वेश्चनिंग द क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ व्हाई वुड यू कीप इट अदरवाइज फेवरेट आइटम इन द क्लोजेट अम एज कितने खुश हुए सुनिए बेस्ट आंसर ऑफ दी आफ्टरनून चलो ओके विराट ऑन पिच सेलिब्रेशन देखो ये सब चीजें होती है मोमेंट में ये बार बार चला के सहमत करा करो यार मेरे को बड़ी शर्म आती है बाद में ओके नेक्स्ट वन वी डोंट नीड एनी वीडियो यू विल यू विल there will be a dialogue from you he has to repeat that pyar vyapar ki pyar vyapar ki jodi kabhi nahi baithti na bhaiya main to single hi best business kar le mere sath bread pakodi ye kasam kabhi dhoka nahi dunga सब याद रहता है बताओ क्या बोला था मुझे पता है ऐसे भी लेगा कि उनको प्रपोज कर दिया होगा एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द रीजंस व्हाई व्हेन वी वाज डेटिंग ईच अदर लाइक वन ऑफ द थिंग्स आई वाज वेरी इंप्रेस्ड विद एंड आई वाज लाइक यार ये तो लाइफ पार्टनर ही अच्छा है वॉज मेरे को मेमरी इतनी अच्छी थी क्योंकि मुझे कुछ याद नहीं रहता है मतलब कुछ याद नहीं रहता है मुझे फोन भूल जाऊंगी ये मतलब ऐसा लगता है कि मतलब मतलब भयंकर लाइबिलिटी घूमती रहती हूँ मैं साथ साथ में <laughs> ये भूल गई वो भूल गई कुछ यहाँ पे छोड़ दिया एंड ऑल दैट बट आई डोंट फॉरगेट एनी थिंग फॉर अबाउट माई डॉटर्स सिलेक्टिव मेमरी है मेरी बेसिकली यू नो तो विराट रिमेंबर्स एवरी थिंग सो मुझे लोगों के बर्थडेज याद नहीं रहते हैं और हाँ लिटिल बिट वो स्कॉपियो ट्रेट है थोड़ा वो थोड़ा है कुछ पता नहीं कोई तीन हजार साल पुरानी बातें रॉयल रिमेम्बर लास्ट इज अनुष्का शर्मा टू स्लेज विराट कोहली एंड ही हैज टू रियक्ट एंड आई विल स्टे क्लियर फ्रॉम द पिच हाँ चलो कमान कमान विराट विराट टुडे इज ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रैल आज तो रन बना ले अबे अच्छा कम बैक तो देना तो नहीं मैंने हाथ कर लिया तो नहीं नहीं अबे जितने तुम्हारी पूरी टीम ने अप्रैल में जून जुलाई में नहीं बनाए उतने मैच है मेरे समझे से मैं इसकी टीम में <laughs> आ जाओ इधर आ गई टीम में आ गई ऑल राइट दैट वॉज इट लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन आई मस्ट से थैंक यू सो मच